Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. It's Marta here and I'm back to you with a, a different type of tutorial. How to create those beautiful uh, glassy embellishment uh, cabochons uh, using watercolors. A galaxy effect, perfect for jewelry, perfect for scrapbooking, a card making uh, projects. I hope you will enjoy because, enjoy because this is such a pretty and easy project for everyone. Everyone can do galaxy cabochons. Uh, so grab your watercolors and cabochons and let's uh, create something pretty like this uh, together. Um, if you have trouble finding those cabochons I just added a few sets of mixed sizes uh, to my Etsy store so you can have a look at those a big and small and middle one exactly the same ones as I used for my project so uh, check out my Etsy store the link will be at the end of the video or below the video in the comment section or anywhere uh, just um, have a look and happy crafting! To start off we have to paint a galaxy first so I'm gonna wet my paint uh, my watercolor <laughs> paper first and I'm gonna work with my uh, pretty bright blue somewhere starting from bottom part going going upwards and making it much darker you will see I wonder if it's uh, how it would be if it's if I would go opposite. So starting from actually the <laughs> darkest to the lightest. I wonder how this would be. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna mix some pink as well and some purples. And I believe that each time I make a galaxy it looks completely different to my previous paintings and I think that's pretty pretty fun uh, to know that each time is different. I use different colors, I think I use different techniques all together. Uh, so it's nice and interesting to, to see that and yeah. So the edges of your galaxy usually are much darker than your um, inside, um, the middle part. Uh, at least that's kind of how you can explain how the galaxy works. But again, this is a uh, each each galaxy is different, and I think you can learn uh, all sorts of types of galaxies and ways of painting. So you can just go your own way all together. I'm just mixing some nice colors here and there. And where is my... Oh, that would be nice here. The very dark one. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Here, super dark one as well, and here at my edges of my painting. Yeah, as you can tell, the colors of the galaxy you can see that they all kind of family colors so blues and pinks and purples they nicely go together, guys. So there's no fear of using them colors. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to trick my view now and do something a little different maybe. Why not? Why not? Hmm. Oh, that's nice. You can see how the colors goes and how pretty the movement is happening right now. Oh, I like that. I love that movement very much indeed. Uh, painting galaxy is very relaxing and very rewarding and I, I, I love painting that. Uh, so finding use for your galaxies like cabochons, I think that's so nice, so different. And I think it's worth to try.
Now the other thing that can be done nicely is grab some white paint. I know that in the watercolor uh, sc old school or school in general people don't use white but since we are about to make some galaxy I think using white could be nice and could make some nice sort of uh, movement in the painting. Every galaxy looks different without finishing with the bra with the spar um, not sparkles with the white dots, of course. So a little more and more, <laughs> and after drying, of course, it will look even better. Now I'm thinking to add even more of my dark colors in places. I love that. Now maybe this one. What about if I play with a little touch of green, the teal color? Mm-hmm. That's nice. It's very nice indeed. Hmm. Okay, I think we can just start and dry that piece, I believe. We can try to drag a bit of color and make some mixtures even more, but you don't want to feel that you overdid it or something. No, definitely a touch of white. Let's see. What will happen if I flick my my brush now? <laughs> That is nice, like a snowflakey effect. And when this fully dry, this will be even nicer. So let's dry that. It's like a Milky Way. <laughs> I like that. You can see that this white now, it's dissolving in all those water waters that I have here. So. There we go. Now let's dry that and I'm gonna come back to you in just two seconds. You can see when I dry how the white is dissolving, disappearing and create this awesome effect. Look. You can tell that it looks way better <laughs> after drying. You can also, before everything is dry, you can also lift some colors by just using a, a, a paper towel. Just lift some colors and you can create awesome effects on the galaxy painting. There we go. Stunning. <laughs> Many times I've asked you what's the best way to get rid of the tape without tearing the paper and actually heat, you said heat. Plus, before sticking your tape, uh, you, should, you should really stick it into the clothes first and then on the paper, which I did. So I'm gonna heat, heat more of my tape to take it off. Now this is our galaxy here very pretty with few dots uh, yes I'm gonna do dots now the white dots and I'm using some uh, toothbrush toothbrush and there we go that works nicely I, I just need more white <laughs> okay more white and let's see there we go so toothbrush is Fabulous way to make, oops, sorry, galaxy uh, splashes, galaxy white stars. <laughs> that 
that's nice we're nearly there with our cabochons <laughs> Mm -hmm. awesome so that's how it looks now then that da am beautiful but I feel that I wish to have a little bigger uh, dots let me see oh yeah like maybe if I use this yeah so I'm using just this uh, wooden stick just for a few more of a bigger dots than the tiny tiny one from the toothbrush okay now we need to dry this and I'm gonna come back to you with my cabochon idea there we go <laughs> it's very quiet and relaxing today <laughs> Yeah, baby is asleep, so that's why it's quiet. Wait, not, wait, we'll see for how long. <laughs> now, Hannah is a good sleeper, I have to say. We can't complain. We can't complain. She slept today, she's six weeks tomorrow, and she slept today seven hours again? Or six? Seven or six? No, more than seven actually, which is a lot and yeah so I cannot complain and I do sleep well enough actually for considering that there is a newborn in the house <laughs> okay I'm gonna try that now mm, I'm back to you after uh, a little break I just posted on Instagram and uh, a photo of this and this is pretty interesting I'll show you now uh, oh, actually that's Emily and Hannah <laughs> uh, the interesting part is that many of you have thought that what you see here is actually not a glassy cabochon like what really is but th that I actually painted this and this made me thinking that next video I'm gonna try and actually try to draw and make this impression of droplets uh, yeah so just just uh, just uh, a little funny thing to, to say I posted that on Facebook and Instagram and many 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 of you or everyone actually because I, I never said that it's gonna be cabochon tutorial and um, and many of you thought that this is how it looks uh, that it's you know that I it's it's whoops <laughs> um, it's looking great though I have to say so this is this made me thinking that yeah that's what I have to do learn how to do those droplets Um by the way you can follow me on uh, Maremi small art kit I'm not sure if you can actually see the uh, there you go Maremi's the little line small line art this is how you can find me on Instagram and I post many things on Instagram that are not necessarily on my other social media or YouTube um, so yeah like giveaways are there uh, or sneak peeks of what's gonna happen work in progress photos a little Hannah uh, was on Instagram as well um, a little video showing uh, a kit that uh, limited edition kit so you know different things my my paper watercolor paper uh, die cuts available in my Etsy store and preparation of that uh, some more paintings more paint you know there's loads of things that are not necessarily in uh, in the YouTube but they are uh, they are uh, on Instagram so oh that's me <laughs> when Hannah was still inside <laughs> and Emily on the back so you know few things are there so if you wish like follow uh, you you must find Maremi's line small line art and you will find me or if you just google 
Instagram Maremi, I'm pretty sure you will find me as well. I show some sneak peeks on things happening that are not necessarily uh, in, in, as I said, on YouTube. So if you're a social media freak like I am, a social media freak, I love social media, uh, when it comes to craft, I think it's a fabulous way. Uh, it's maybe good to try. You see my phone; it uh, it has it has this um, tape here, and oh, it's just pretty. I have to. It's pretty uh, sad story because I got a new phone and I broke it within a week, <laughs> and I have this. I have those. Um, tapes since all the time since the beginning I have to fix that but Joe was just um, so expensive to actually fix it like literally for 500 euro to exchange the 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 the, the screen so we just glue it and that's how it looks so yeah I'm I hope to maybe have some new phone uh, one day because or fix this if I can afford it <laughs> anyway Let's go back to our cabochons. I wonder if if it's sharp enough. Let me see. Let me see if the yeah, it should be sharp now. So, the cabochons are a glassy little things that you can get on the internet. Uh, if you just Google and look for cabochon glassy glass cabochons, you find them. They all different sizes. I have small and big. They all different sizes. You can look for those now. The idea for this is to glue those down and and then we see because uh, since I'm not uh, since I'm not I'm, I'm gonna use this uh, gel medium here since I'm not I didn't do that earlier before doing with you I'm just doing that with you now so this is something I'm experimenting right here right now just like this with you so I'm gonna glue this down I hope this will hold I hope this will hold and then once this holds we will be able to cut it that's my that's my idea that's what I'm thinking and I hope I'm correct in here so you can see that the glue goes down it should stick it should stick let me bring that camera closer to you and fix the sharpness maybe Oh, there we go uh, so I'm gonna use both sizes big and small which could be nice and then we will try to cut it <laughs> I'm not too sure yet how <laughs> but we will cut that so I'm just adding glue now I'm not using uh, you I think you can use all sorts of glues uh, but I just think that gel medium will just stick it very good and very properly and all so that's what I'm using I have a gel medium here in the little bottle I'm not sure if it's not too close for me then to cut it we see we will see it's our learning curve right now um, yes before I posted the photo uh, we fed uh, uh, Hannah I wanted to say Emily <laughs> but no we fed Hannah because she woke up in the meantime and she's back to sleep again <laughs> back to sleep again and yes we're visiting our friends today Angela and Frank my uh, as I call them my Irish uh, my Irish parents those are the first people I met in Ireland when I arrived uh, which was 12 years ago I actually worked for them as an au pair, can you believe it? Yeah. Hi, Emily. Hello. Hello. How is your sister? Good. Annoying? No. Not at all? No. A tiny bit? No. Ah, come on, be honest. She's not annoying. No? If she cries like a little... <sighs> so bad, like, it happens sometimes. You still love her? Yeah, of course I do. Of course you do. What's the best thing you like about her now? She's what, she's what nearly six weeks tomorrow, is it? Mm -hmm. So what's the best thing you like about your sister? Um, 
like when she climbs you. <laughs> or does. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm just looking for nice and lovely spots right now. That's why I sp I'm spreading my cabochons all around. So they would be pretty much... They would be pretty much... Um, on nice elements of my galaxy so I'm just choosing which is nice basically that's kind of what I'm doing right now they all nice but of course you can find nice and nicer <laughs> I think I think okay now this should dry and then we will start cutting that now this will this will keep on drawing but I have another idea and I'll show you my other idea I'm gonna see if it's better or worse but I have an idea to add some glitter as well uh, so the idea is to to add some to add some glue here and to maybe add some glue and glitter here let's say like that and maybe if I can just have a touch of that glitter here I hope you can see and I'm gonna press that down whoa now that looks amazing let's have a look Emily so do you wanna see okay the one with the glitter so I have a bit of glue here a bit of glue here and then I'm gonna have a little glue there and I'm gonna have some sparkly glitter mm -hmm. and there you go like this Wow, that looks amazing. There's some small ones with glitter too. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna turn around that. A small one, okay. That's that's a good idea. Now my <coughs> glue is finishing clearly. Okay. Maybe pink one. Would you hold that down, Emily, for me? Yeah. Thank you. Now, a little bit of glitter, and whoop, that looks so beautiful. I hope this will actually, um, I hope this will hold, yeah. Now, a little bit of, oh, I think, what's that noise? Is guinea pigs. We have two guinea pigs. We have a... Uh, our guinea pig and a friend guinea pig who is on holiday so we have two cages and two sm smelly little little um, animals we say smelly because I think when you have two <laughs> they smell faster and they eat more now because there's two of them so it's different but we love them both we wish to keep the friends one actually his name is Larson and he is absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous guinea pig. A redhead actually. <laughs> redhead. Now, I'm adding more because I can't stop. It's so amazingly beautiful that it's wow. Shocking. Absolutely loving it. I'm loving this. I'm not, I think I'm in the wrong spot now, but that's okay. Hopefully, this. I'm turning this around so make sure that all of it has a glitter and glue. Whoa! Can I somehow show you? I don't... I'm not too sure how the camera is picking this up. Actually, it's not sharp again. Oh, there we go. This is stunning. This is stunning. I'm gonna post that on my Instagram now, actually. <laughs> My cabochons are dry now, as you can see, and some of them are shiny, some of them are less shiny, uh, but they are all very pretty. Now time to cut them. Um, I wonder if this is sharp enough for you. I think it is. I do think it 
is. Anyway, let's grab some scissors and let's and let's start cutting. Basically, the idea is to cut around our cabochon. So make sure that it's dry. I hope it's dry. <laughs> I hope that that my picture my my glue is dry so this is what we have right now and we take a small scissors and we are going around our cabochon our glassy cabochon we're going around with our scissors cutting off the edges to have our let me show you that closer and Aha! How pretty is this now? Let me see the glitter, glittery, one, uh, glitter, glittery one. Okay. Now, definitely, <clears throat> it's in my head now to <laughs> to try and to <clears throat> create effect like that with drawing. I I promise you, video of that. Uh, since so many of you have said. Uh, thought that this is the effect of pe effect being painted or draw drew drew draw I don't know um, it's time t it's definitely uh, nice it would be nice to try and challenge ourselves to 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 draw it okay let's see now with this one oops that's our shiny one. Now, we have some bubbles of glue inside. I'm not too sure whether this was done because of uh, I had too much air went in or too fast I pressed it. I'm not too sure. Oh, that's how it looks underneath it. And this is our cabochon. I think it looks pretty even with those bubbles. It's more like... Um, now, I hope you can see the, the sparkles. Uh, it's like an ocean nearly effect with the bubbles. Let's see the two of them. So the shiny one and that shiny one. I love them. I really love them. Let's let's cut the rest of them. So I keep on cutting, uh, cutting off our cabochons and it looks really beautiful together now. You may think what will I use that for? You can make a jewelry with it like pendants, earrings, uh, rings, there are so many options. This could be like a button and of course for your projects, of course, most importantly, uh, those could be added to your projects. Ca glassy cabochons. I really, really love them. And I'm not, I wasn't too sure of uh, the final effect, how it's going to be, uh, but I have to admit it looks beautiful. And it is exactly what I was thinking it will be. So I'm glad, I'm really, I'm glad that it worked because I haven't tried this off camera. I was doing this with you uh, again, live, kind of live. So it's nice that it worked actually. The noises are the family noises. Uh, cucumber soup is being reheated and. Um, so that's the noises of microwave and stuff <laughs> of my gang there. Oh, this is a gorgeous galaxy one. They all nice. I just wonder, should I cut them all or leave some? Should I cut them or leave? But maybe I should actually cut them all. I don't know, but they they are all so very pretty. Um, yes, and I'm so tempted and excited to try the drawing this effect of of um of what's the word of. Uh, droplets drops or whichever now there are so many other ways of doing cabochon galaxies with the nail polish i haven't tried maybe i will i'll see uh, but definitely watercolor cabochons i think it's nice this is not sharp i think this is nice a uh, different sort of way of using your watercolors especially if you're not that super happy maybe about it uh, as you can tell it looks so nice when it's uh, cut it, uh, with the cabochon. So I think the effect is better than I was expecting. 
which is very very nice you know there we go let's see let me put those on my hand and bring you closer or I bring the camera closer maybe instead let me bring the camera closer and voila can you see so there we go how pretty awesome is this okay I'm gonna finish with that I hope this was fun inspirational and different type of project uh, for you to try out uh, it's a nice way of doing your own embellishment uh, with not without big cost uh, you could use some nail polish as well instead of glitter maybe and nail polish I'll try nail polish as well maybe someday I'll see <laughs> there is so many ways now options in my head so thank you so much as always guys uh, please don't forget to share this video with your friends if you find it inspirational if you think that they may enjoy this video and this uh, tip for making your own cabochon watercolor cabochon galaxies thank you so much I'm gonna finish it that big hugs and bye 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 ha have fun creating